This video will show two examples on how to use the T84 to determine whether a set of data has any outliers. An outlier is a data value that is significantly greater than or less than the other data values. However, it is important to be aware of the methods the calculator uses to determine quartile 1 and quartile 3 and the outliers, because methods can vary. The T84 uses the Moore and McCabe method to determine quartile 1 and quartile 3, where quartile 1 or Q1 is the median of the lower half of the data once the data is ordered from least to greatest, not including the median. And quartile 3 or Q3 is the median of the upper half of the data, again not including the median. And then to find the outliers, the T84 uses Tucky's method where the outliers are the values that are less than quartile 1 minus 1.5 times interquartile range or greater than quartile 3 plus 1.5 times interquartile range. So going back to our example, while it's not required, I do think it's helpful to order the data from least to greatest as I've shown here. So if we have any outliers, they're going to be values that are really large or really small compared to the rest of the data values. So let's go to the calculator and enter the data. To enter the data, we press STAT, Enter. We need to clear any old data by going to the top of the column, press Clear, and then Enter. And now we enter the new data, 7, Enter, 18, Enter, and so on. And now we're going to create a box plot in order to determine the outliers. To do this, we need to turn the box plot on by pressing second y equals for stat plot, press enter, highlight on and press enter. And now we want to turn on the modified box plot or the box plot that will show the outliers, which is this fourth option here. So we press down, right arrow, three times to this option, press enter. The data is in L1, which is correct. So from here, we press zoom, and then nine for zoom stat. This automatically adjusts the window to show all of the data values. And all the outliers are shown on the left or right as points. So notice how we have an outlier on the left as well as on the right. To determine these values, we press trace, press the left arrow, which shows the outlier of seven. If we press the right arrow again, we can see the left tail starts at the value of 18. Right arrow again gives us quartile 1. Right arrow again gives us the median. Right arrow again gives us quartile 3. Right arrow again gives us the end of the tail on the right. Right arrow one more time gives us the other outlier of 55. So again, we have two outliers because we have two points beyond the tails or whiskers of the box plot. The two outliers are 7 and 55. The 7 is considered significantly less than the rest of the data values, and the 55 is considered significantly greater than the rest of the data values. Let's look at one more example. Again, I've already ordered the data from least to greatest, so now we go back to the calculator, press STAT, ENTER, clear out the old data by pressing UP, CLEAR, ENTER, and then enter the new data. Now we already have the stat plot on, but we do need to adjust the window, which we can do automatically by pressing zoom 9. Notice how there are no outliers on the left this time, but we have two outliers on the right. Let's determine those values. Press trace. The minimum is 14, quartile 1 is 24, the median is 29, quartile 3 is 40, the right tail ends at 41, right arrow again gives us the first outlier of 65, right arrow again gives us the second outlier of 77. So we have two outliers, 65 and 77. 65 and 77 are considered significantly greater than the rest of the data values. I hope you found this helpful.